In this video, I want to talk about the new features that have been added into the uh, 010 .1 release of the Visual Studio Code extension for Cake. These features were actually meant to be in the 0.10.0 release. However, if you've watched our other video, you'll know that we had some issues during our build process. So ultimately, the features that were meant to ship in the 0.10.0 release are now working and proven to work in the 0.10.1 release, which is what I'm going to show here. So the first one is quite a small feature, uh, but we had a request uh, to add it in, so we thought we'd go ahead and add it. If I go ahead in here and add a configuration file to this project, I'm actually going to download the cake.config file, uh, the, the default cake.config file from uh, cakebuild.net. And in here, what we've got is the uh, configuration in INI format for various parts of the internals of cake, which you can modify if you need to. And the request was basically to identify this file as an INI file so it gets correctly syntax highlighted. So that's effectively what we've done. So down at the bottom here, you'll see that this is being recognized as an INI file. And you can change it to something else if you really need to. Uh, but out of the box, that, that cake.config file will now correctly highlight uh, with INI support within Visual Studio Code. The other feature, or, or rather the other modification to the 0101 release of Visual Studio Code extension for Cake came as a result of uh, the actual Visual Studio Code team reaching out to us. They let us know that the upcoming release of Visual Studio Code has some modifications or changes that actually uh, obsolete the way that we were handling some of the internals of the Cake extension. So what that means is we've had, had to adhere to the new way of doing things. So no functionality has actually changed, but the way it's been implemented has been changed. And that was specifically around the addition of the uh, default launch.json files that we provide either for the Cake Core CLR uh, debugging or for the mono debugging. So if I select this one now, it'll correctly add a launch.json file, but it'll do it in a way that will be supported going forward in the future versions of Visual Studio Code. And, and that's pretty much it. It's quite a, sh uh, a small release. Let us know if there's anything you want to see added to the extension and we'll be happy to do our best to uh, accommodate those requests. Thank you very much.